Tonight's midterm election preview takes us to Arizona. President Trump is not on the ballot there, of course, but he is a big part of the conversation about a very contentious Senate race. Chief Correspondent Jonathan Hunt reports from Phoenix. So he's doing great. The specter of President Trump looms large in Arizona's critical Senate race. I'll stick with him to the end. I'm not going to desert him no matter what happens. I was with him from the beginning. I'll be with him to the end. Former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio, controversial and immigration hardliner, recipient of Trump's only presidential pardon, is the best known of the Republican candidates. This is a statewide race with national consequences. But he faces stiff competition from Congresswoman Martha McSally, former fighter pilot, preferred candidate of the GOP establishment, critic of Trump the candidate, supporter of Trump the president. I'm working with him to support our military, to secure our border, to grow our economy, and to fight for American values and the American people. And there's Kelly Ward, former state senator, the conservative favorite before Sheriff Joe jumped in. She's optimistic the Republican base will rally round her. They're seeking out thoughtful, conservative, uh, intelligent solutions for the problems that are facing us. And so I think they are ultimately going to be the ones that give the most important endorsement and send me to Washington. But rallying the base could conceivably make it harder for whomever wins the Republican primary in August to win the general election in November in a state traditionally Republican that's changing quickly in large measure because of its growing Hispanic population. Well, Arizona is really uh, on a tipping point politically. It's not the same Arizona as our grandfathers and our grandparents. The winds of change are really with us. Congresswoman Kirsten Sinema, who declined our request for an interview, is the leading candidate on the Democrat side. I'm actually running for U.S. Senate. And there's Deidre Aboud, a former member of the Council on American-Islamic Relations. <laughs> she hopes her grassroots campaign will make the difference. I'm out in the field. I'm actually meeting with people. I'm at an event, one to six events every day, have been since April. And while it's a sensitive subject to raise, it is worth noting that given Senator John McCain's health issues, there is always the possibility of not just one, but two Senate races here this year. Brett? Jonathan Hunt in Arizona tonight. Jonathan, thank you.